called something like a while ago. It's just been tension also, so it's nice to say it's nice when I feel like I'm talking to somebody. Because I'm like it's one thing to talk to myself, you know, I can do this. You can do this, Ian. Or like or I looked at the dust cleaner. Dust destroyer when I thought, you can do this, Ian. Use my dust destroyer? Maybe that's something I should tell myself to do at some point, or would if I was like ambling around my house and telling myself to do stuff. But there's something about telling someone else something. You like put the energy away from yourself. You you give the energy to them, or you put the energy on them. I mean, I don't even like it's tough to talk about it because as soon as you start to talk about it to someone, you, you you've already put the energy on them, so you can't explain putting the energy on someone. So I'm living in this meta theater of life where I'm like talking to myself and pretend talking to other people, and then talking to other people. And I kind of revert back into talking to myself mode when I'm around them, which is artistic, I guess, or autistic, which is very close. Like, I'll, I'll zone in, I'll be like, I guess, it's like I'm at my, I try and act like I'm at my house, but it's like, I don't have all my stuff, and I, and I like to do a lot of stuff. Like, my mind's pretty active, so I'm always, like, looking for stuff to do or working out, and I get kind of embarrassed working out in front of people. I, I don't mind a little bit. I guess I can just start working out in front of people more. But, like, when I'm out in public, I want to stretch and I mean, push-ups and stuff. I did, I've been doing push-ups, so I assume I'll start wanting to do push-ups. Like, just get the urge to work a muscle. Um, and Or play guitar or paint or sing or something. And it's like, most stuff, anything my body can do, it's, it's not about comfort here at my house. It's, like, it's about comfort level of what I'm doing with my body. I can do in public. Like, the other stuff I don't want to carry around in my computer... I have a laptop. I have the iPhone now, so that's huge. This will be like carrying a computer around with me because it's got a video camera on it, so I can like um, do my main art. I still feel weird videotaping stuff. Taping, videotaping. My dad calls it videotaping. Um, video recording stuff. I still feel weird video recording stuff. Just because uh, it's really intrusive. And I'll put that energy on you. Because I really believe that recording someone or is intrusive and recording some things. I mean, I've worked myself like to this point where I can handle any recording on. It, it affects me like not at all. I can be myself. Because like this talking to other people thing that it seems like right now is what I can do with other people if they let me go for... I don't know, six minutes or whatever I'm talking for. Um, so I don't really mind if the camera's on or off. I could do this with myself, though I feel maybe that's what I should do. I should talk to Ian like this. You boy, you son, you son of a bitch, I thought. All right, Ian. Let's do some video recording. Why won't I flip to the thing? Taking some time, I'll show you what I'm And I'm toggling this thing from camera mode to the video camera mode. Problem is, it doesn't seem to be opening up the great sci fi door that leads into the camera. Damn it. I don't know why. Maybe the thing's too full. I guess I uploaded shit already. What the fuck is this? Hey. Oh yeah, I made a video earlier. This YouTube thing is uh, really meta. <laughs> I think I just...
Do you want to watch this? Watch them go about their life and kind of watch as a spectator. The other aspect is it's interactive. So, like, I actually, you know, the videos can kind of get to know the, the subscribers and the, the commenters if they want. Um, you got to you gotta realize it's as easy for me to block somebody as it is for somebody to write a comment. So, I made a really, really distinct effort over the last few years to not block people when, when they're inflammatory, I guess you would say, but like repetitively inflammatory. And it's a, it's a real drain to, to log in and see the same person or people writing the same kind of comments when I feel like I'm changing. And when I look at my stuff and I see another person changing objectively, or, or I guess it's objectively it can't be subjective. But it's like I'm getting away from myself and looking at it as like somebody else. It's like, obviously, I'm a little better than I was the last time, sometimes. So, I don't, I don't enjoy, I mean, there's like a nasty part of me that enjoys like seeing other people suffer. But I think I've done being, this is like pa passiveness can get you a lot. But it can also cause you a lot of pain. And I think there's a time to strike back. Like if I get hit once, I'll look at the person and wonder why. And then if they come at me again, I'm not going to let them hit me again. I'll get behind them. Yeah, sure. sure it doesn't really matter. Like, uh, like whatever, I just take it. And actually, it would really affect me. Like, I, it would really kind of mess me up. This is why I didn't post this video. Because it was long and dry out and boring. Why would I let people say stupid shit? I don't know. Some of this. not accurate. This guy's like pissing me off. Over and that? over again. Like, once it's like, okay. He's like repeating himself. This is, this is Ian during the day making a video just for the sake. Like, I, I had a cutoff point that I missed that I should have cut that video off at, and I probably would have posted it if I had. Um, I said a few things I disagreed with. I, maybe I should have disagreed with them right when I said them. Maybe I can just remember. Obviously, I'm a little better than I was. Yeah, not necessarily. Oh, when people say uh, the same things over and over, they're not saying the same things. So that was that was a ignorant thing that I said I in that video. I really, really and when I said really, really, it was like I was like, ooh, I'm going to really pour it on. And I noticed when I was saying it, while I was watching it, I was thinking, I like my mind zoned away from that guy because he was like pouring it on, you know? He was like doing more than what was natural for him. So it's like be natural and people listen to you. Yes. What I learned. Thank you, technology. Yeah, don't force it. Don't like add words or anything. The other thing was how I said about kind of mixed feelings about getting hit once, and then if they come at you again, you'll get behind them. I don't think that's possible. I think if if your if your philosophy is you'll you'll allow yourself to be hit once, you're pretty much asking for de annihilation or destruction. Like you shouldn't be hit. You should always be aware, not, not have that. It's like, I don't know, that plant awareness doesn't really work for humans. It's, it's hard to have a total awareness, the idea of the Jedi, because every, even the Jedi get hit. So like a Jedi is supposed to like always be dodging and parrying, flying around, knocking things away. It's the way you say the word knocking, like that energy. It's like the, the, if you can muster up the energy that you would use when you made a certain movement in your voice when you speak, people think you're a great proliferator, profactor. So that's what it is. If you can, like, it's like from here up, that, this area, if you can manipulate the same energy. It's the same shape 
indie, your the way you say the word, it's totally cool. 